It has been three full days now and still no specific word from Wisconsin health leaders on using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine again. Other states have since the FDA gave the okay. Amanda Quintana joins us with what Wisconsin's vaccinators feel they are supposed to be doing. Yes, that pause was lifted back on Friday, but this weekend we haven't heard of any vaccinators locally starting to use the Johnson & Johnson shots again, even though there are thousands of doses ready to be used. At Fitchburg Family Pharmacy, there are more than a thousand doses of the J&J vaccine that have been sitting in the fridge for almost two weeks. Thad Schumacher plans to use them at a clinic on Saturday, hoping to hear something from the state by then. And the language is kind of vague. The last press release about J&J from DHS on the 13th says vaccinators should hold on to the vaccine until federal review has been completed. That happened on Friday. Maybe that means that we are uh, in a place where we could use it. Um, we just um, usually you hear something from the state and maybe they left it open like that so they wouldn't have to come back out and say something. Even though there are at least 10,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine sitting in refrigerators across the state that the federal government says can be used, many vaccinators are waiting. There is a little bit of a, a delay in the sense that we have to wait for the green light from DHS and some educational materials to come in before we're allowed to restart. Public Health Madison in Dane County isn't sure yet when or what DHS might provide, but they want to have all the information before starting the shots again. We want to be prepared to be able to answer anybody's questions about J&J &J and what that means for them. Schumacher is happy to be able to use it as soon as possible, hoping the one and done perk gets more people to show up to their clinics. I do know that they had people who were stating they were not going to come to our clinic at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, especially this past Saturday because we weren't using Johnson & Johnson. And it frees up vaccinators to reach more people even faster. Even when Johnson & Johnson resumes here at the Alliant Energy Center, you won't be able to choose if you want to get Johnson & Johnson or Pfizer or Moderna. You simply get the vaccine that is available when you come here for your appointment. If you get Johnson & Johnson, they just might have a few more questions for you and talk to you a little bit about the risk.